Hello, Paul and Gallinera here from Acuity Cloud Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new idea in Oracle Customer Connect. So the first thing that we have to do is go to the Customer Connect website, web page, and you do that by going to community.oracle.com slash customer connect, and it will bring you to this page. In order to use this, you have to have an Oracle account. And when you go ahead and click on login, it wants to log you into Customer Connect using your account. Just like everything Oracle, it is going to use your general Oracle account. Oracle has a single sign-on for everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in using my Oracle account. And then it's gonna take me back to Customer Connect after it authenticates me and I can go ahead and start creating a new idea. All right, so now we're back on this page and in order to create a new idea, I'm gonna go up to the top here and I'm gonna drop down ideas and here are all the different areas that you can create ideas for. And mind you, these ideas are coming from the Oracle Customer Connect community and the purpose of this is to submit ideas to basically make Oracle products better, especially better for you. So I'm gonna stay on human capital management here. The example I'm gonna give is I'm gonna come down to talent management. Even though you have all these other choices and you can submit ideas for all these other areas of Oracle, it really comes down to what idea you have that pertains to whatever products that you have. Some of the best ideas obviously come from the community, especially those of us that are using the products or helping organizations use their products. So I'm gonna focus on talent management here as an example. And the screen that you get, and make sure the screen fully loads, sometimes it takes a second for it to fully load, um, is making sure that you have all the ideas that are listed here, as well as this search box to search for an idea that is gonna be very important in a minute. Um, when you take a look at and scroll down here on the left-hand side, you can just see a general list of the ideas that have been submitted in the talent management area. And some of these uh, have everything to do with, let's just say, uh, Oracle recruiting. Some of them have to do with learning. Some of them have to do with succession. Some of them have to do with performance. Um, it, it's, it's, they're all mixed in and what you can do is you can, you can filter by statuses. You can uh, sort by either last activity or by votes and things like that in order to affect this list. And, uh, I'll get to that and more details of that in a second. But before you submit an idea, it's very important for me to say that a lot of times people have the same ideas. Organizations, they all have very similar ideas from time to time. So before you submit your idea, it's very important that you do a, do a search or two to see if that idea hasn't already been submitted. Like for instance, if I wanted to create an idea or submit an idea that had, had something to do with the improvement of giving us the ability to configure citizenship in the recruiting process. Uh, if I didn't think that there was enough configuration uh, elements or configuration options uh, to define citizenship, I might want to submit that idea. Before I do that, I want to see if anybody else uh, is having similar challenges or having the same ideas. So what I can do is I can go ahead and click on keywords here. And let me just do a general search around citizenship. What kind of ideas are there that deal with citizenship or citizenship configuration. So I type in citizenship, I come down here, I click on search, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna give me a list of ideas that deal with citizenship. And to my surprise, there are actually two ideas that deal with citizenship. One of them that, uh, that deals with citizenship details to be available for configuration and candidate job application flow. 
that's actually a very similar idea to, to what I had. Uh, the second one is to enable additional sections like identification, info, citizenship, passport, visa from core. That's a little bit different, but, um, you know, hence there, it's, it picked up the keyword citizenship. But this one, this one is very similar to the, to the one I have. And Oracle discourages us to, to go ahead and submit an idea uh, that uh, is already in here. And, and they want us to go ahead and work with the idea that has already been submitted. Uh, in order for me to make that determination, though, I need to go ahead and take a look at some of the additional details here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the name of this. And I'm going to take a look at the details, the comments. I'm going to fully explore this existing idea to see if this is close enough to the one I have. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, here's the general description. And there's an area for the use case and business need. In this case, there's a, a very nice diagram, um, a, uh, a, a diagram that, that defines what this is all about. And then I also have a section right here. This is very important. I don't know why Oracle doesn't put this at the top, but this is where it's at. So I'm going to make it uh, very well known that if you want to submit an idea and there's already one or more ideas in here, that are similar, if not the same as yours, and you wanna go ahead and support that idea, then this is where you go ahead and support that. In my opinion, it really should be up here, similar to the previous screen that we just saw, but for whatever reason, Oracle puts it right here. And I'm gonna show you what to do with this in a second. And then there's a bunch of comments. Um, some s further support from other organizations of why this is a continual need. And, uh, and, and you can see what others have gone ahead and said when we're talking about this particular idea. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can leave your comment as well. You can like other people's comments. Uh, the, more, the more support, community support, an idea gets, the more attention it will get from Oracle. And uh, typically there's, uh, not typically, but, but very often, there is a threshold, uh, and and we don't really know what that number is. It's a little inconsistent. In the past, it used to be that if you had fifty or sixty votes for for an idea, then it it it, it tends to get on Oracle's radar. Um, that may not be the case these days, but because um, there are a, a few exceptions to that, but I don't think it's 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 unfair to say that the more votes that and more comments that an idea gets, the more attention it will get from Oracle. So if I wanted to uh, leave a comment, I just put my comment here, I hit post comment, and it'll it'll post them in the list with everybody else's comment. In addition to that, what I'm, I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna go, wanna go ahead and vote up this, uh, this, this idea uh, and add my vote to it. And the more, like I said, the more votes an idea gets, the more attention Oracle is going to pay attention to that. Now, this is in the case that that you find an idea that is similar, if not the same, uh, as yours. So this is this is the process. Oracle wants us to search the idea lab first before submitting our own idea. Now, with that said, let's go back to the idea lab under talent management. So now we're back onto this page and let's say we're in a situation where we have an idea and after I did a search under keywords, I couldn't find any existing idea that was any, any similar or any, the same or similar to what I, to, to, to what my idea is. And I want to go ahead and submit a brand new idea. So they have this big button right here that says submit an idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So this is the new idea form. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put an idea title in here. So whatever your idea title is, go ahead and put that in there. And then you're going to want to fill these sections out like this. 
The last thing that you want to do is uh, go ahead and choose tag. So whatever, whatever area that we're talking about here, um, as far as tags. So whatever, whatever product or area of a product that we're talking about here, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. So let's say I had an idea that related to talent profile, and my idea title had something to do with talent profile, and so on and so forth. Then. That's how, how, I, how I would do that. Now, if my idea is going to take me more than one sitting or it's going to take me uh, a considerable amount of time to go ahead and fill it out, I can save this as a draft. Um, but, uh, you know, let, let me just go ahead and put this as test idea. Right, and test, test. You get the idea about idea, right? And then if I wanted to go ahead and click on save, I can go ahead and do that. And then it'll take you to the next step. If you notice here, uh, avoid error idea duplication. This is just another reminder of what I just showed you a couple of minutes ago as far as submitting ideas that already exist. From time to time, I will tell you this, from time to time, Oracle does come in here and they do do a duplicate or similar idea purge. And... Uh, the the idea that they end up leaving is the one that typically has the most comments and the most votes and things like that. So if 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 you ignore all of this, um, most likely the fact that your idea will stay in Customer Connect uh, is is less likely than the idea that was there prior. It's it, once again, it's much better that you support an existing idea, uh, even if it's even if it's not a hundred percent the same as your idea. Um, you know, let's say it's 85 to 90 percent similar, then uh, go ahead and support that idea. If it's not even close, obviously submit a new idea and all of that. The other thing I want to point out as it as it relates to these ideas and, and, and something that that you are going to need uh, is uh, which is very important. Uh, after you create your idea and if you wanted to go ahead and use your idea or submit your idea to the voted up sessions at the 2023 Ascend Users Conference, uh, I want I want to point out um, something at the very end here. And that is, let me go into this ability to fast forward and add timestamps to video. Um, let's say let's say we're all going to vote this up at Ascend uh, this year. I want you to, I want to point out something that's very important and knowing your idea number is very important. Um, I'm going to point this out this out in other videos, but uh, knowing your idea number, um, so anytime that that you are involved in any type of voted up campaign or you're asked to vote something up and somebody gives you an idea number, uh, you know what we're talking about here. So I'm just going to point that out. The idea number is very important, and it's uh, usually the number one way that organizations uh, create campaigns and try to get their ideas voted up for Oracle attention. So let's go back to uh, the idea lab here. And as you saw, it was very simple. I didn't put anything very spectacular in um, the test idea, but I will say, say this, the more information, the more description, the more attachments, um, the, you know, as much as you can add to your idea from a best practice standpoint, the, the better. If you keep it too general, people really don't know what the heck you're talking about. And if you put some time and effort into submitting your idea, that is for the benefit of the community. When people can really identify with what you're saying as far as the idea and say, oh yeah, that'll help me, that'll help my organization, th the better. And there, your idea will be more most likely to get, to get support. One last thing, notification preferences. Right now, this is set to unfollow. But if I wanted to follow this category, follow new discussions, discussions and comments, I certainly can go ahead and, and do that. And what that does is anytime anybody submits an idea, you will get a notification on that. You'll get a notification via email, so you'll stay in the loop about other people's ideas, so you can vote those up. I think this is a very overlooked area in Customer Connect, and people don't know about this. But the more people that go ahead and follow the category or discussions or both, this will help you. You can help others. 
that is the whole that is the whole idea about the idea lab and the whole community is to help support each other's ideas and get everybody else's ideas including yours on the radar of oracle all right that's it for this video i hope this has been helpful thank you very much